Hello everyone, this is Fuzzbuzz00, and here I have a Team Fortress 2 gameplay on Payload Upward as the Engineer, using the Jag, uh, the Frontier Justice, and the Short Circuit. Uh, none of this was planned, uh, this gameplay just sort of happened. I uh, decided to record it, uh, so that's why you can see I'm kind of in the middle here. I was building some dispensers up on the balcony at the last point where you usually find sentry, you know, that's a normal spot for it, but uh, this engineer that I'm helping out here, he built it in a different location, and that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to be a NG buddy uh, for this other engineer. Now, when it comes to engineer buddies, I feel like the Pyro, despite all these disadvantages that he's been getting lately, uh, still is the best person for uh, an engineer to have around a sentry. The home wrecker, the room of sappers, and a single hit. The air blast can reflect projectiles back at enemies. But having another engineer is also very, very good, especially when you're doing what uh, this engineer and I were doing, as you'll see later. Uh, but like I said, this wasn't intentional. I didn't know the other engineer, and uh, we weren't really communicating using voice. I wasn't using voice chat at all. I think he said thank you to me once for building up a sentry, but that's pretty much the extent of our communication. So I threw that sentry down on that spot right there, and I'm building up to level three right now just to be a distraction, number one, so that uh, not all the attention will be put on uh, our sentry up there. I didn't yet know like how strong our team was because we were push pushed back to this point pretty quickly. Um, See, you can see they're throwing in the Uber over here, and they're trying to spam out my sentry. And I use the short circuit to uh, to um, delete those sticky bombs, which is actually very, very good. Um, it actually saved my life. It didn't necessarily save my sentry. I could have repaired it with the wrench if I'd just been smacking away at it. But I ended up with pretty low health there because I missed just one sticky bomb. If those other two or three that I deleted had gone off, I would have been dead for sure, and my sentry would have been down. Um, so that's what the short circuit really is good for. It's not so much for saving your sentry as it is for saving yourself. Um, I should have seen that sticky bomb come up, but I didn't. And you can see here, like, I come down here just in time to save my sentry, and before this I come in time just to save the other engineer's sentry. So a lot of what happens here is luck, as well as, uh, just my awareness. So, um, you can see here I'm just doing a lot of things. I'm just trying to have fun. Honestly, this is not something I'd normally do. I wouldn't go out of my way to go and shoot someone. Well, maybe a medic, but uh, I wouldn't just rush out there. I, I couldn't normally expect that uh, this, a, a medic would be just by himself with another medic, medic somehow appearing behind me. I don't know how that happened. So this is a clear example of why that guy down there is not <laughs> like how we're not communicating, I would not have put my dispenser down there because I'm not planning on turtling my sentry down there. That is not a very good spot for a sentry. Or it's decent, but it's more of a surprise rather than something that's very effective, has a good range. Sentry up here, on the other hand, has a good view of the cart uh, from any angle that they might approach, including the downstairs area, the area around the back. It also has a good view of both of the balcony areas. So this is a very powerful position for the sentry. It can't necessarily fire all the way there, which is why this is not where the sentry is usually placed. However, the other engineer has the Wrangler going on. And I think he pulls it out soon. Maybe not this time, but like when some other enemies come, he starts pulling out the Wrangler. I don't know why he's smacking away at his sentry. It should be fully loaded, but... Eh, some engineers. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Also, a good thing that I have my sentry down there is that for every kill that this sentry gets, my sentry gun gets an assist. And I think it gets one more kill by itself down here. Um, and that helps because I was, help, uh, I was using the Frontier Justice, which, eh, if I was intending to do be an NG friend, I would not have used the Frontier Justice. Rather, I would have used the regular shotgun, or actually in this situation, I may have considered the Pompson if I didn't, like, boycott it. And I refuse to use the Pompson because it's a stupid weapon and I feel like no one should have to deal with it. Uh, but yeah, I probably would have used the regular shotgun, having the six shots. But because I had the Frontier Justice, I threw my sentry down there. And you can see this is this is what I was talking about before. Um, it's really helpful that I'm here because a pyro could not reload your sentry while you're wrangling it. This is an incredibly powerful tool. Um, having one engineer wrangle the sentry and the other one reloading it pretty much means that the engineer doesn't never needs to stop firing. He can fire as far as he wants. 
with pretty much perfect accuracy if his aim is on. And uh, still, if, I'm, if the sentry is getting spammed out, it still has a bunch more health because of the shield that appears around it. And I have my short circuit ready to go. Um, the only thing I wish had happened is that if I had the other dispenser there, it would have been a very, very difficult stronghold to destroy. Honestly, I, like, you'd have to be very, very... You need like two or three <laughs> Ubers to take that out. Or like an Uber with a spine. You need to be very coordinated. And as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, I'm on a scale, scale server. So you can see at the end here, I looked at the time and I'm like, you know what, uh, we pretty much got this down pat, their cart's rolling backwards. We weren't playing against a very coordinated team, I think they had like a troll or something. And our team was starting to do quite well, I don't know how. Uh, we got like auto balance or something like that. I'm slowly moving my sentry up uh, as it is safe. Um, I moved it to this position here, uh, this position here has good visibility of both the room on the right and the room on the left, as well as straight ahead. But uh, I think my sentry gun gets a couple more kills. Uh, no, that's about it, I think. Yeah, and I destroy it because, you know, 40 seconds left. I have 15 revenge crits ready to go, which I felt was more than I could use in a single life. And there you go, one guy down. Uh, damage that soldier. Take out that pyro. It's two. Finish the soldier. And almost kill that uh, pyro. And that's pretty much the end of the round, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's, I'm not trying to show anything like, oh, this is so amazing that you should do this. I just thought it was pretty cool. I'm not narrating and I'm feeling proud of myself. So, cut me some slack. Ah, finals coming up. I need something to feel good about. Ah. And, uh, yeah, at the very end, I'm just rushing out there. There's only a few seconds left. There's pretty much no hope for them. We still have that one sentry up there. Even the other engineer leaves his turtle position from smacking that sentry. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, tune in soon. Uh, the video I was working on before this one, the one that led to the conception of this video, it's coming up soon. It's kind of hard to do, so uh, stay tuned for that.